Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to add application in iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by searching semi-path by tech.pdcrash.com An application is a grouping of files and folders at the root level of the website or a grouping of a content in the separate folder under the website's root directory. When we add application in iOS 8, we designate a directory as a starting point for the application and then specify a property specific to that particular application such as the application pool that the application will run in. Ok, here we are on Windows Server 2012 machine. Let's log on with administrative rights. Just hold on for a moment. Ok. The server manager as usual has automatically opened. Ok, click on tools. Here you can see internet information service and DNS. Oops. Let's click on DNS. In our earlier tutorial we have told you how to configure a DNS. So if you don't know how to configure DNS, please go ahead and check out that video. I have given the link for that video in the description below this video. These all records are subdomains. So we are going to use app.pdcast.com for this tutorial. Let's minimize this DNS manager. Okay. Also minimize server manager. Let's go to Internet Explorer. Here we are going to type a domain name that will be tag.pdcast.com. That is T-E-C-H dot p e t e r c r y s dot c o m com hit enter and hold on for a moment ok here you can see it is opening a local website which we have configured earlier basically we have configured a dns that's why it's opening a local website so first we have to stop our dns service so that we can download it from the wan connection let me stop the dns server first ok so dns has been stopped now let's run a small script basically let me show you what's inside it is a small command that is ipconfig slash flush dns which will flush all the dns cache so let's double click on it and as you can see it has been flushed the dns records so let's once again close the internet explorer and open it and type down tech.pdcrest.com ok Here we are on the tech.pdcrest.com you will find a blog from here you can download a file which we require in order to complete this tutorial so click on download and it's showing me page which is, which is a google docs let's click on file and click on download save and let's close the internet explorer let's start once again the dns server which we have stopped ok close this run again the flush dns command close this ok So these files we have downloaded to complete this tutorial. Let's open it. Here you can see the folder. Let's copy it onto the desktop. Okay. And let's close this one. Click on abstract. Double click on the folder. Here you can see multiple files. Basically there are three folders and three files first one is a license which is a open source so close this second is the link for my video tutorials and my skype id and the third one is readme information file so let's check it out what we are going to do in our this tutorial so just hold on for a second let me go to format and click on word wrap okay this is much better in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to add one or more application in a same website now i'm not going to read all of this because it will take a lot of time so you can just pause the video and read it out by yourself or you can download the file from our website okay so first thing what we are going to do is configure these three website in an existing web application that is app.pdcrash.com before doing that let's me delete this okay just hold on for a moment ok so let's open server manager on the server manager click on tools internet information service 
click on it and the IS manager will automatically open let me close server manager okay click on the server node on the IS click on sites here you can see app.pdecrise.com which we have configured in our previous tutorial which was how to configure a virtual directory if you haven't seen that please go ahead and check it out I have given the link into the description tab below this video just click on the arrow sign on the site and that will show you all the directories inside the folder let me click on explore here you can see there is only one file inside app.pdecrise.com and the path let's minimize this ok and let's open our folder and let's copy these three web applications on the website folder so let me copy it ok right click oops just hold on from it let me copy it copy and paste it over the folder ok so we have copied all three folders inside the root directory of app.ptcrest.com ok so let's see what's inside the accounts department folder it's a simple code which I have created in a visual studio let's open the default.aspx just click on edit and it will open into the notepad as you can see it is a very very simple code let's close this and let's go back basically it's the same thing I just have changed the name ok so let's close this very quickly and now we are going to configure our website 1, 2 and 3 so once again let's go back to IS right click refresh and as you can see all the directories which is inside the root directory of app.pdcrest.com are showing over here basically there are two ways you can convert a folder into an application the first one is convert application basically convert to application and the second one is add application so first let's convert this folder into an application ok let's copy this name that is accounts department right click copy and click ok now as you can see the folder has been converted into an application let's go to internet explorer and let's type app.ptcrest.com that will be app.petercrys.com and hit enter this website we have configured in our previous tutorial so let's paste accounts-department and hit enter once again just hold on for a moment ok so as you can see the application has been opened accounts department and here you can see the current date the virtual path of the page path of the directory and it is also showing the IP address of the user who is accessing the web application in our case it is showing our server local IP address now let's close the internet explorer ok ok so let's now remove the accounts department application click on remove yes now click on the root of the website and click on add application type a C C O U N T S that is accounts ok and let's give the path of the accounts department directory let's browse to it that will be sites folder inside sites oops just hold on ok there is app.pcrest.com and accounts department click ok and then ok now as you can see the difference it's showing me accounts rather than as previously it was showing me accounts department now let's create another application that will be human resource so I will just type HR and give the physical path to the directory that will be inetpub sites folder and app.pdcast.com and there will be human resource click ok again ok and there once again let's create one more that is sales and marketing let's click on add application type the application name which whatever you want to give that will be sales for our case ok and the physical path that will be as usual as earlier sites app.pdcast.com and the sales and marketing folder click ok ok and there 
now we have configured all three web applications that is accounts hr and sales now let's access these websites using internet explorer and check it out what happens so on the internet explorer let's type app.pdclass.com and the accounts so i only have to type accounts so just me delete this okay hit enter and as you can see the same website that is application account department now let's again type hr instead of accounts okay and as you can see it is giving me an error because the website has been created on the dotnet framework of 3.5 so we will resolve this error in a moment right now let's check it out the sales that will be s a l e s and hit enter there it is opening perfectly because it is working on asp.net framework 4.0 which i will going to show you in a moment let's see what next we have to do let's open that text file okay so we have done the first part we have configured all three web applications now in second step we have to configure a separate application pool for each of the web applications so that if one application goes down it will not affect other web applications okay so let me show you an example what happens when the application pool goes down and from the action pane select advanced setting okay here you can see by default it is using app.pdcast.com application pool so let's change this click on app.pdcast.com application pool and from the drop down select different application pool for our case we are going to select tech.pdcast.com which we have created in our earlier tutorial so click okay and okay and now let's see the advanced setting of tech.pdcast.com click on advanced setting and as you can see it is using tech.pdcast.com let's close this and now i am going to stop tech.pdcast.com web application so click on stop okay but just stopping the website will not stop the website's application pool so let's go into the application pool tab here you can see tech.pdcast.com i have selected the tech.pdcast.com and i have clicked on stop so the application pool for that website and that website in a stopped stage now let's open internet explorer and check it out what happens when we access our accounts web application so let's type down that is app.pdcast.com slash accounts a c c o u n t s and as you can see it is giving me an error service unavailable http error 503 now let's do one thing let's remove accounts from here and let's type sales which is using a different application pool that is s a l s e okay and hit enter and as you can see it is running it is running because it is using a different application pool so let's close internet explorer okay on the is let's start the application pool which we have stopped okay and the website click on start once again let's go back to our text file and check it out the second task okay it was to create a new application pool for all three applications so let's minimize this let's create different application pool for our web applications so let's click on application pools right click add application pool let's give a appropriate name to application pool for our web application so i'm going to give accounts and it is using dotnet framework 4.0 so that's okay click okay the second one same thing let's type hr click okay and the third one same way let's type sales that is s a l e s and click okay so we have configured all three application pools sales hr and accounts now let's configure these three application pools with our web applications let's go back to our website that is app.pdcrise.com click on accounts click on advanced setting here you can see right now it is tech.pdcrise.com we selected click on the drop down and select accounts oops select accounts click okay and okay now click on hr click on browse to the application as you can see it is giving me an error we are going to solve this error in a moment let's click on advanced setting and change the application pool that will be hr okay same thing with the sales 
click on sales advanced setting application pool select sales hit on ok and then ok now all three applications which we have configured have a new application pool now let's open internet explorer and check it out what happened when we access all three of these applications so let's click on internet explorer and type it down that is app.pdcast.com slash accounts and as you can see it is working perfectly fine let's click on another tab and type app.pdcast.com slash sales and it is also working perfectly fine next one that is app.pdcast.com slash hr okay it's giving me an error but this is not application pool error this is something else which we are going to resolve in a moment so I have minimized the Internet Explorer and now let's open the task manager on the task manager details tab if I go at the bottom you can see there are three processes are running one is HR second is sales and the third one is accounts these processes are initialized by the application pool when we accessed the web application at the first time so let's close this okay also let's close the internet explorer as we don't require it anymore okay so once again let's open our text file so the third step we have done test all application on the server now let's see the fourth step solve the dotted framework error from app.ptcrash.com slash hr web application so on the is let's go to hr right click explore let's open the web.config file right click on the web.config file oops let me right click on it and open with try let's open with notepad okay as you can see over here it's showing me dotted framework 3.5 that means the hr web application is built on dotted framework 3.5 and it will not work on dotted framework 4.0 so let's change the framework for the hr application let's go to application pool double click on hr okay as you can see over here it is using 4.0 let's change it to 2.0 let's click on cancel you can also change the framework from here advanced setting as you can see over here 4.0 let's change it to 2.0 and click ok so the framework is now changed to 2.0 which includes dotted framework 3.0 and 3.5 now let's recycle the application pool oops Okay, click on recycle so that the application pool will restart now let's open the web application for HR that will be app.pdcast.com slash HR and as you can see website is started working perfectly fine so let's close the Internet Explorer okay now once again let's open the text file and check it out what is the fifth thing we have to do that is access and test all three web application from the client system so just hold on for a moment let me switch to the client machine let's minimize this also minimize this one just hold on for a second okay now we are on windows 7 machine let's open run press windows and r that is shortcut for the run type png ping app.ptcrash.com and hit enter and as you can see I'm able to establish a connection from my machine to a server so let's close this and let's open Internet Explorer just hold on for a second okay and let's type the name that will be app.ptcrys p e t e r c r y s dot c o m and hit enter the main website has been opened which we have configured in our earlier tutorial now let's type slash accounts a c c o u n t s okay and hit enter once again and as you can see it's opened perfectly fine and it's showing me the ip address of my client machine that will be 192.168.122 let's remove accounts and type hr okay and as you can see human resource the IP address my local IP address is showing now here I am going to type the third one that will be sales that will be S A L E S 
and hit enter okay and so open sales and marketing and my local IP address okay no problem so all three websites are working perfectly fine so this completes our tutorial of how to add application in IS8 on Windows Server 2012 hello friends thank you for watching this tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update when we post a new video share it with your technical ID friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or you can catch me on Google Plus, Gtalk, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Zavi powered by tech.pdchrist.com.